What's up guys, Joseph Rakic from josephrakicfitness.com and today in this video I'm going to take you through one of my leg workouts, give you some tips and techniques along the way. First exercise was barbell partial squats, I did three sets for this and the rep range was 20 on each set. Now as you can see I'm going right the way down but I'm only coming up three quarters of the way. The reason I'm doing that and the reason I'm using partial range of motion is to keep the stress and the tension on the quads, hamstrings and glutes the whole entire time. Because the more stress you can put on a muscle, the more muscle activation it's going to go through and the more chance for muscle hypertrophy, which is increase in muscle size, you're going to get. Now I don't always do partial um, movements for my exercises, but every now and again to mix things up I will do partial reps. And again, that is just to keep the stress on the muscle. I'm also going much lighter than doing um, normal squats. That is because when you are keeping the stress on the legs, <laughs> it is a lot harder. You can also see I'm using a wide stance here. Using a wide stance will work more of the upper quad and also the inner thigh, which is the areas that I'm trying to target. For those of you who want to work the outer quad sweep, um, you probably want to be using more of a closer stance when you're performing your squats. Exercise number two, we're doing wide stance leg press. Now I did three sets and the rep range was 10 to 16. So again, putting my feet wide on the platform is going to target more of the upper quad and inner thigh which is the area that I'm trying to target for the specific movement. You want to focus on coming right the way down, bring the weight as low as you can. That way there's going to be more activation in all of your leg muscles. Now I am supersetting with close stance leg press, three sets, 10 to 16 reps once again. Now this close stance here is putting more stress on the outside part of the quad resulting in a better quad sweep. My legs have pretty good quad sweep so I don't often do too much close grip um, or close stance exercises. Now the idea of doing supersets is to increase the intensity of your workout and to increase the stress applied to the muscle. So with this superset, once I've finished my wide stance, I'm going to do the next set right away without rest. So I don't even lock the racks back up. I want to keep the legs as burnt out as I can before starting the superset. Because the more stress, the more pain, the more gain. I've got a hefty ass vein through my leg as well. Alright, so now that we've done our two pressing movements where we can overload the legs with a bit of weight, we're now moving on to exercise number three, which is seated leg curl. Three sets and the rep range was 8 to 12. For this exercise, I like to really focus on that squeeze. I hold it for roughly about just shy of a second and just really tense and squeeze that whole entire muscle every time I lift the weight up. Because honestly, I know I say this in a lot of my videos, but the more you can squeeze the muscle, the more activation it's going to get, which is going to result in more muscle growth. Now there's a few different techniques I like to use when performing this leg extension. First off, I like to put the seat right the way back as far as I can. This allows me to lean back in the seat and I feel it more in my upper quad area. I also like to change the angles which my pose, which my toes, sorry, are pointing. So if I want to work more of the teardrop muscle, which is that teardrop shaped muscle down near the kneecap, I will simply flare my toes out. If I want to work more of my upper quad, I'll, I'll simply keep my toes facing the roof. Exercise number four, 
we are doing lying leg curl, three sets, 12 to 18 reps. Now there's a bit of a different variation that I like to use here. I feel a better squeeze and better contraction in my hamstring muscle when I have my upper body up off the pad. So I do my first lot of reps up here until failure, as it is a lot harder. And once I cannot contract the hamstrings anymore in this position, then I will lie down on the machine and do it as normal. However, it is a lot easier here and I don't feel the same contraction as I do when I have my body resting up off the pad. So for anyone that's really trying to build and develop your hamstrings, definitely give this a go. Um, raise your body off the pad and you will feel your hamstrings get hit so much harder. Again, for training hamstrings, it's all about that squeeze. And there you go, that was the end of my leg workout done for today. Nice and short, but very intense, and that's what you want when trying to break down your muscle in order for it to grow. And don't forget, the most important thing to gaining that lean muscle tissue, it all comes down to your diet. So for anyone that needs help with a diet in order to build muscle or shed body fat, I am an online personal trainer, so for more information about the programs and about my diets, click the link in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new.